In this video, we'll look at how to plot results from a survey question in an Excel bar chart. Here we have data from a survey we ran recently. We've got around 3,900 responses to the question, what version of Excel do you use most? Let's plot this data in a chart. The first step is to build a summary table. First, I'll convert the data to an Excel table. This step isn't required, but it will make the formulas easier to write. For the first formula, I need to count all responses. Since we have a table, I can use the rows function with the table name. Now, to count each response already in column E, we'll use the COUNTIF function. For range, we use the response column in the table, and we get criteria from column E. To get a count for other, I need a different approach. Since other isn't actually a value that appears in the table, but rather a bucket to hold the responses not listed above. I can start with the total count, then subtract everything already counted above using the sum function. Now, I'm going to hard code this one value here so that I can sort the data later without worrying about formula references changing. As a quick sanity check, if I now select the counts, you can see that we have the correct total. Now let's calculate percentage. This is simply the count divided by the total count, locked with F4, and then formatted as a percent. Now we have a clean summary of the data that we can use for the chart. In this case, I only want to plot percentages, so I'll hold down the Control key and select the responses and percentages separately. On the Insert tab of the ribbon, click Recommended Charts. A bar chart is a good choice here because there's plenty of room for each response. Now overall, this chart looks pretty good, but we can tidy things up and simplify. First, I'll resize and align the chart with the Alt key held down. This causes the chart to snap to the grid below. It makes it easier to align things. For the title, we can use a formula. Select the title, type an equal sign, then click on the worksheet to pick up the title text. Generally, these bars will look better if they're a bit thicker. Double-click to select and open the Format Task pane. A gap width of about 80% usually works well. Now, to further streamline, I can add data labels to show the percentage for each bar. Then, I can remove both the horizontal axis and the grid lines. These are really just clutter that we don't need. Finally, bar charts are easiest to read when the data is sorted. If I sort the data in ascending order, Excel plots the bars from largest to smallest. Now the bars are easy to compare.